Pew Weaver has two ranged attacks. One of these is Bone Cage, one of these is a spiral attack that summons bone from the ceiling. Pew Weaver will only use the spiral attack if you are standing in the center ring that is around the ancient gateway. Pew Weaver can use Bone Cage while in the center ring and anywhere else in the arena. However, he will never use the, the spiral attack if you are not in the center. Bone Cage can be dodged if you run outside of its effective range. This means you will stand inside of the range that he can summon it, while he and then run out of that range while he finishes summoning it. That way, Bone Cage will not appear. This adds a new function to the boss. Generally, Bone Fu Weaver will first do a melee attack at you, then summon Bone Cage if you are outside of the circle, and Spiral Attack if you are inside the circle. The second attack will always be Bone Cage, whether you are outside or inside. If you dodge this bone cage, Fuel Weaver will not use a uh, bone cage for six more summons until uh, you get to the seventh. On the seventh, he will use bone cage again, as long as you are standing in the center area. I'm not quite sure why this works. It's either a hidden game mechanic or a glitch. So first, as I am in the center, Fuel Weaver will summon bone cage from the side, from the ceiling. After this next attack, it will use Bone Cage. As I am hit by this, it tells Ancient Pew Weaver that he should use Bone Cage again, even if I am in the center when he summons. After this one, he will then go back and forth between using his Bone Cage and the Spiral Attack. As you can see here. This is quite different than what happens if you dodge Bone Cage, though. Dodging the Bone Cage allows you to not waste Lazy Explorer uses on the first phase. As Wolfgang, someone with Vault Goat Jelly, or Wanda, you can get Few Weaver's first phase completed before he uses Bone Cage again. However, as a character without damage boost, he will use Bone Cage once more. This only means two Bone Cage dodges, though. All you have to do is run out of range twice. You cannot teleport out of Bone Cage's range. This is because it still counts as a registered hit. It checks whether you are snared or not, not whether or not you escaped from it. You can also not use pillars to dodge Bone Cage, even though they are normally available. I have successfully dodged the bone cage. That's the first use of the summon. He will now do it five more times. Four more times. I will continue attacking if you will for a while. Three more times. I will not, however, kill Fuel Weaver or finish off this first phase, since there's so much more to show you, and, and Wolfgang kills him too fast. Three left. Two left. One left. Do we ever should use Bone Cage next? And that is how to successfully avoid bone cage usage for a large portion of the fight. It does work in second phase, however, considering the woven shadows being spawned around him, it is not viable to use this, as there is bigger problems to worry about than dodging the bone cage. Using Lazy Explorer or dodging it is much more effective.